So today's video, I want to talk about Charlemagne the God, right? This recent article that came out from the Daily Wire. I want to use it as a grounds, a discussion that we need to have. And the discussion that we need to have is when it comes to politics, we should no longer look towards celebrities and radio personalities who is not in the political space because they're just using those people's popularity to gain votes. There's no real backing on what they're doing. And once they turn their back on you, you look stupid, right? So I want to talk about that. But before we get into that, here on Broken Traditions, we are about breaking away from traditions of toxic black culture. If you're into that kind of content, you have that kind of mindset, please hit subscribe and turn on notifications. Also, in the pinned comments, I leave a link to my newsletter so I could directly contact you guys when I do giveaways, when I drop content, when I do live streams. If you guys are a channel member, you get to watch this content a few hours early. If you want to become a channel member and support the channel, click the join button below and you can become a channel member for low as $1.99 a month for a regular membership and $4.99 a month for a premium membership. So Charlemagne the God, he feels like the Biden administration disappeared, especially Kamala Harris. He felt like Kamala Harris, quote unquote, disappeared, right? First things first, let's go back to the history of Charlemagne the God and the Biden administration on the interviews they had. So the most infamous interview we all have to discuss, we all have to acknowledge is the interview that Charlemagne the God had with Joe Biden on The Breakfast Club during Joe Biden's presidential campaign. You guys don't remember, take a look. Listen, you gotta come see us when you come to New York, VP Biden. I a, will. It's a long way until November. We got more questions. You got more okay. questions, but I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. It don't have nothing to do with Trump. It has to do with the fact I want something for my community. I would love to see- Take you a look at my record, man. I extended the voting racks 25 years. I have a record that is second to none. The NAACP has endorsed me every time I've run. The war, I mean, come on, take a look at the record. As you can see, he basically told Charlemagne to God, if you don't know not to vote for me, then you're not black. And the reason why you should vote for me because the NAACP supports me. No real, no real conversation on why this is a good candidate or not, just because a, a party such as the NAACP, who's in the pockets, who's in the pockets of the Democratic Party, which is a whole nother story we need to talk about. Let me know if you guys want to have that kind of conversation too. If you don't vote for him, you're not black. So he, he basically denounced your whole entire race to vote for this man. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I never seen or heard nothing like that on the political campaign. And 90% of black people voted for that man after that. That's crazy. Then there was another interview with Charlemagne the God and Kamala Harris. And Charlemagne the God asked Kamala Harris, uh, who's the president? And she just snapped at him. You don't re remember that? Take a look. So who's the real president of this country? Is it Joe Manchin or Joe Biden? Madam Vice President. Come on, Charlemagne. I really Come on. I, it's Joe Biden. I can't tell no, no, sometimes. No, 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 no. It's Joe Biden. And don't start talking like a Republican about asking whether or not he's president. Do you think Joe Manchin and, is and a problem? It's Joe, and, it's Joe, and it's Joe Biden. And I'm Vice President. And my name is Kamala Harris. So we have those two incidents that Charlemagne the God had with the Biden administration, right? So let's pull this article up. I'm not going to read the full article in its entirety. I'm going to read some parts of it and the link in the description will be below so you guys can check out the article in its entirety, but let's get into this, man. A prominent black radio host personality reportedly feels burned over his past support of Vice President Kamala Harris. Charlemagne the God, the co-host of The Breakfast Club, spoke to Politico about his break with Harris after nearly three years in the White House. I've learned my lesson from doing that, he told the news outlet. Once they got in the White House, she kind of disappeared. Charlemagne reportedly explained that he does not think Biden administration has done enough to tackle mental health awareness, a topic that came up as he appeared on the campaign trail with Harris in 2019. When I give people my word, like, yo, man, I think we should be supporting him, Kamala Harris for vice president because she's going to hold it down. We should be supporting Kamala Harris for vice president because she's going to hold it down. So Kamala Harris is now, uh, what's that a girl named Goodo? They're talking about um, holding it down, P.O.P. Mama, I love you. P.O.P. Hold it down. Pray these out good pimps, boy, baby, for life. And you know what? When, when I see Charlemagne the God say stuff like this, this is regular black rhetoric when it comes to stuff. Yo, ho yo, you should vote for her. She gonna hold it down. Hold what down? 
<laughs> what are you talking about? She's going to hold it down. See, when you see stuff like that, that isn't just normal black jargon, right? She's going to hold it down, vote for her. There's no real, I don't know, accountability, nothing like that. Just she's going to hold it down. P.O.P. That's it. That's all we got. She's going to hold it down. That is so vague. But people could easily go with stuff like that because of the vagueness, right? So let's continue on. When we say things and people don't see her holding it down, that causes issues, he said. See, <laughs> she's not holding it down. Like, what does that even mean? She's going to hold it down. <laughs> Charlamagne added, damn, you told us to vote for them. Don't you know how many people say that to me all the time? Political noted that Charlemagne does not expect Harris or President Joe Biden to appear on the Breakfast Club during a current election cycle in which they are seeking a second term amid poor approval numbers and dropping support among black voters. So that's a good way to end it off right there, right? So this is the reason why I think Charlemagne is doing this. Charlemagne and other people during the presidential campaign run in 2019 going into 2020 realized the iron was hot to go against Trump, right? Everybody wanted to go against Trump. There was no real political conversation. It was just, let me show up on popular radio shows. I mean, Hillary Clinton, she did the same thing. She went on to the Breakfast Club, talking about she got hot sauce in her bag. More questions? They said, no, she has to go. What's, she what's something go. that you always carry with you? Hot just sauce. Really? You, yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Are you getting information right now? Hot sauce. <laughs> hot sauce wow. in my bag, Swag? Hot sauce. Really? Yes. Now, yes. listen, I just want you to know people are going to see this and say, okay, she's pandering to black people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is it working? So, this is the way that they can speak to black people, right? No real political uh, expectations, no real political conversations. All is just little, like I said, the black jargon, just a, just this way of speaking to black people, thinking that black people want to support and black people want to love what you're doing. And honestly, it has been working for a long time. I've said before, you know, the fact that Joe Biden went to go speak to, I mean, Charlemagne the God, at least there was a little bit of pushback. But Joe Biden spoke to Cardi B. That right there should have been the ultimate slap in the face. That should have took away millions of votes from the black community when it comes to Joe Biden. But... Like I said, we voted out a crazy clip. And I, I mean, some people don't like him, but I think, you know, for Joe Biden to be taken seriously, he should have had to sit down with like a Roland Martin. You know what I'm saying? At least Roland Martin is a, a, a political face in a Democratic Party. At least he's that. That should have been a sit down, not Cardi B. You know what I'm saying? It could have been a number of people that's in the political spaces to have that conversation with. But he sat down with Cardi B. And now I think that like they said right here, they don't think that the uh, Biden administration is going to come back on the Breakfast Club because of the drop in numbers amongst black voters. I mean, we might not even have a Breakfast Club by the time the election is coming up because of, you know, Angela E left and um, DJ Envy's going through his legal things and Charlamagne guy got a lot of different avenues to go to. So we might never have a Breakfast Club around this time. But he said that he don't think they gonna come back because of black people approval numbers are down and that's the case they're just playing the popularity game it's about being a, a, a thermometer all you do is checking the temperature the temperature says black people not rocking with trump at the time now the temperature saying black people not rocking with biden you're just a thermometer you're not a thermostat you're not changing the temperature you're just checking the temperature and the temperature is saying one thing so you're going to do it you're going to do what it says right if the thermometer says it's cold outside you got to wear a coat if the thermometer says it's hot outside you wear light clothing that's what you're doing. You're not doing nothing special. You're not doing nothing crazy. You know, and that's what all these people, and that's the way they talk to black people when it comes to politics. All, all this is about is your feelings, not what's good for you for taxes, not what's good for you as far as policies. It's just about your feelings. They talk to you about your feelings. That's not good at all. But let me know how you feel about this in the comments, man. I felt like Joe, you know, I felt like Charlemagne the God you know, he probably woke up a little bit and said, damn, I can't support these people, but also felt like there's a sense of, ah, I know I can't support them publicly, but I could probably support them privately. So I'll leave a little bit of room ever. Kamala Harris kind of disappeared. Not that she disappeared, she kind of. So that leaves a little bit of room of error, a little bit of wiggle room to get back into the good graces 
in case he needs to, right? And I don't know, it just it just I don't know, it's just it's a tacky thing, man. It's a tacky thing. And I feel like this too, with Donald Trump being taken off of all these uh political ballots in different states, I think this is the safe thing for Charlemagne to do because Donald Trump is gonna be taken off of more states. There's no way he can win, right? No way he can win. And he can see like he turned his back on administration without really endorsing Donald Trump or without endorsing any other political candidate, right? He just turned his back on the on the administration, even though I think the administration is gonna win another four years because who's really running against Joe Biden and Kamala Harris? They could do so bad, but they got nobody else to run against them. I can't see nobody else taking that position. But let me know how you feel about this in the comments, man. Appreciate your time. All right, man. Till next time. Peace. Real Rap Ron is signing off. All right, later. One. Also, if you like this kind of content, please consider hitting subscribe and check out the other video YouTube suggested. I didn't suggest it. YouTube did. And YouTube don't lie. All right, peace.